All right, <clears throat> time for another video. Um, let's see here. It's Valentine's Day, so um, yeah, I'm not home or I'm not out doing anything. I'm staying home tonight. Uh, story of my life. What can I say? Um, anyways, uh, this is just a follow-up video from my last one, which is the paintball video. Uh, what it was is we were given a uh, uh, what do they call it? Warrior activity quest or something like that. And pretty much it broke us down by different companies. And in each company we got to go out and do some different activities. And ours was paintballing the other day. And it was fun. We, um, we It was uh, pretty much Distro Platoon, a Fox company, who was able to go against like two platoons from Charlie Company. Mind you, Charlie Company are infantry guys, and we're just truck drivers. Uh, the first match was a 15-minute uh, capture the flag. We had to hold the ground against 30-some-odd infantry guys, which, if you ask me, that was really unfair odds. But even though they were respawning every time we'd killed one, <clears throat> uh, we actually lasted it until like the last two minutes or so of the game holding our uh, ground and you know we didn't do too bad we did a couple other games where we uh, uh, had to defend a castle that was a pretty cool one that was fun um, all in all it was, it was a fun day I, I definitely got into it I was enjoying myself got muddy as hell you know running through the bushes and through the mud and getting shot up by paintballs really wasn't so bad. The, the weather was kind of chilly, but it was just chilly enough to keep us from, you know, uh, overheating, you know, running around. But it was still warm enough that it wasn't freezing and we didn't get, you know, killed with the paintballs. Um, what else is going on? Um, tomorrow I'm going to start trying to get my, uh, I'm going to try to do the LASIK surgery again, so tomorrow i got to get some paperwork done and uh, hopefully start that up. And then um, in about a week, I think, yeah, in a week next Thursday, I go in to talk to the surgeon about what they can do for my shoulder. Um, I'll probably be getting both shoulders done, you know, one, get my left shoulder done, and then I'll do my right, and uh, we'll see how that turns out. Uh, what else, what else? Um, what can I go on about? It's been relatively quiet lately since I've been back from, uh, leave. Um, really ain't a whole lot going on. Um, I went on a date the other night, uh, first time in a long time. It was alright. Dinner, you know, we just went to the dinner and talked, and it was fun. That's about it. Nothing real exciting there. Um, uh, excuse me. Hmm. Oh, I uh, got the costume up for the first time since before deployed. Uh, which would have been November of 2010. Uh, I went to uh, the episode one Phantom Menace 3D release, which was fun. Uh, I got to put my armor on and hang out with you know kids and people and take pictures and uh, watch the movie in 3D, which wasn't really all that exciting. In fact, I fell asleep about three times. Um. Yeah, excuse me. Uh, let's see here. I have lately found myself immersed within Red Dead Redemption. A uh, really good game that was produced by Rockstar. Uh, the guys who did uh, Grand Theft Auto. It's pretty much Grand Theft Auto in the Old West. It's pretty awesome. It's I beat the game before, when, before we deployed when I had it. and I just got back into playing it again because I've got a... 43 inch plasma TV Yeah, I've never had something like that before so I decided you know, I'm gonna use my uh, winnings from being deployed and 
buy a big screen TV because, like I said, I've never had one before. Um, what can I show you? Here you go. Some patches, ISAF, and an IR flag. We had to wear those while we were downrange. We didn't wear the uh, red big one patch. We actually wore the subdued one where it's black, but yeah, whatever. It's my unit, blah, blah. Afghanistan now in the mock-up of Apocalypse Now. Good movie if you've never seen it. Oh, here we go. These are pictures of me and my grandpa. That's uh, from a college graduation right there. That's uh, at the hotel after everything. He's fixing, getting ready to go home the next day. And then this one was Hawaii back when I was a little, little kid. That's me right there. Bellied up to the bar with my grandfather. Um, there's my Merck's keychain. Then I guess I'll show you these guys. This is my collection. These are all my Mandalorians. You got Boba and Jango up front. Got my uh, Republic Commandos. These guys are from the book, or from the video game. These guys are from the books. I got Vader and his 501st Legion, Vader's Fist. And these are all my legacy era comic book characters. Kate Skywalker and Darth Crate in the background, Darth Talon, Joker Squad. And then up here are my miscellaneous figures. I got I got the the heroes right here. You got Luke, Leia, Han, Lando, Chewie. And I got another Luke. You got Corrin, Horn, and Wedge until he's in the back. And I got all my Jedi right here. Obi-Wan, Mace Windu, Yoda, Quinlan Voss. Oh, this guy right here? That's Asherod Het. He actually eventually becomes that guy back there, Darth Krayt. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Clone Wars Anakin before the stupid cartoon show. Qui-Gon. Then you got your Sith over here. Probably the coolest Darth Maul figure ever. And then I got Darth Vader. That doesn't look like him. It looks like regular Anakin, but... I wonder if I can get in there. See, he's got the Sith eyes. Yeah. Yep, that's my little collection. And then over here... I got this before we went to NTC. This is signed by Jeremy Bullock. Two Dar from your Mandalore, Jeremy Bullock, Boba Fett. That was pretty much my uh, birthday present from uh, when we got back from NTC. My buddy had got that for me. And then uh, when we got back from deployment, they had this one for me. It's all three of them. And all it is is uh, Jeremy Bullock, uh, Dar, Just Be Cool. Again, Jeremy Bullock, the original Boba Fett. And then Daniel Logan's right here. All it says is uh, Dar Bounty Hunt. And then his signal. Yep. Daniel Logan, Young Boba Fett. And then eventually I'm going to get Tamira Morrison's signature, but that's down the road. And then here's the other one that I got. Uh, it's just Daniel Logan as Boba Fett. This says Dar, don't lose your helmet. And then his signature, signature down here. And then that's my little collage. And then these, these are me. This is my buddy. He drew this up for me before I'd even finished my costume. And uh, he lives on the East Coast. And he came to San Diego Comic Con 2009. And uh, he he presented the, this the original version right here, framed up. And uh, I take a lot of pride in that one. That one was a well well done uh, gesture. I really appreciated it. And then these are some professional photos from one of the conventions I went to. Can't really see them too well here, but, you know. But, yeah, that's my little wall collage. And then sweeping through my messy room over here. Got the flag that me and my buddies made uh, right before I joined the Army. We took that with us to San Diego Comic Con. And then this... Oh yes, 
That is a life-sized cardboard cutout of Boba Fett. Why do I have that, you might ask? Because I have friends who have decided to uh, just compound on my nerd obsession. And uh, they had gotten this for me. And they were going to get it signed by Jeremy Bullock, but it didn't work out in the way they'd wanted to. But nonetheless, they got it and presented it to me. And hell of a Christmas gift coming back home. Yep. And oh, there's my X Wing. It goes with my figures, but I just have nowhere to put it because it's so damn big and it won't fit on my desk. And there's my TV. And then. Red Dead Redemption strategy guide, yep. And then in there is a mess. We're not going in there. So, this is my room. It's a little messy right now. It's in the state of uh, repair. Still got boxes from when they uh, moved all our household goods in. The kitchen area, you know, it's the same setup as before. You know, a couple of dirty dishes, got to get those done. There's the bathroom, same as before. The only difference is this room is actually mirror to the one I had before. Oh, right here. Something y'all should just understand and remember. Yes, does it bother you that I'm always right? Because I am. And, uh... Bam! Specialist Vincent. Which is a bullshit lie because, uh... I'm not a specialist yet. Not for my lack of trying, mind you. But, you know, I'll get it eventually. So that's my little tour of the uh, room of my things. Um, yeah, that's about it, I think, for this video. I really ain't got much else. Um, yep. That's about it that I can think of for this video. Um, like I said, if y'all ever have any questions, feel free to write in. And uh, I'll, I'll do what I can. So uh, that's it until my next video. Deuces.